Okay, here is uh, section 8.4, example uh, 8.4.2. And here they're just looking for a condition on the line, trying to find certain points. So they have, uh, they're defining their line uh, as going through the points 5, 0, 7. And uh, B is uh, 2, negative 3, 6. So I can write that line pretty quickly. I can write that as 5, 0, 7. Now I could use the B for this first uh, position vector. Um, and I could do A minus B instead of B minus A. Uh, but, you know, the more you keep things consistent, uh, the less likely you are to make a mistake. I guess. <laughs> so B minus A, uh, I get um, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Uh, negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. And 6 minus 7 is negative 1. And again, I could always just arbitrarily change that to 3, 3, 1 because T can be anything. So, um, so there is my equation of my line and they say uh, they want to find uh, P on uh, our line AB um, such that uh, the distance so when they write like AP they want um, the distance, and um, uh, okay, so the distance AP um, divided by the distance from P to B is equal to 3, right? So we have a line, we know that that's A, we know that that's B. And we want to find uh, a P somewhere so that uh, if we take the ratio of those two distances, uh, we get 3. Okay, so um, certainly, you know, one answer uh, seems like if I go, um, uh, what is it, 3, so uh, A P. So if, if I go here to P where this is a unit of one, whatever that means, and this is a unit of three. So that's one fourth of the way uh, from B to A, or three fourths of the way uh, from A to B. There's one answer, you know, and and I can figure out where that is. Um, but uh, there may be other answers, I suppose, right? Because uh, couldn't I find a point maybe? Um, uh, well, probably this direction. Couldn't I possibly find a point out this direction where that might be true? Um, right? If I go, uh, let's shrink this down a little bit. Uh, here's AB. Now, if I go one, two, uh, three, is that right? Um... No, that won't work, will it? So the distance here is, uh, if I call that a distance of 1, um, then, uh, um, and I want this to be P, say out here, you know, this would be a distance, a total distance of 3, uh, but this would be a distance of 2. So see that? That's not going to work, right? So we... We might want to leave it up to uh, our relationship, and if you um, uh, use uh, the back here, they had a theorem 8.4.2 that I haven't uh, messed with it, but um, uh, in videos. Uh, but in 8.4.2, uh, uh, they do um, have this relationship that. Uh, the absolute value of t over 1 minus t is equal to um, that distance AP over uh, PB.
Okay, and we want that to be equal to three. And so uh, we have the absolute value of t over one minus t is equal to uh, either um, three or negative three. So it looks like there probably are two answers and um, we'll see uh, what we end up with here. So um, uh, absolute values is, uh, oops, sorry, um, needed to get rid of those absolute values. Okay. Uh, so one over t, uh, or t over one minus t is either three or negative three. So we have t equals uh, three times one minus t. That's one possibility. We also have t is equal to negative three times one minus t, another possibility. Um, so we get here four t is equal to three. T is equal to three fourths. Great. Okay, that was this idea up here. And then here we get um, uh, negative uh, 3 times uh, negative t is positive 3, but then we bring it over, we get negative 2. Uh, t is equal to negative 3, and so t is equal to 3 halves. Okay, and so then. Um, we can substitute that in here. So we've got 507. So let me rewrite that. Uh, X bar is 507 uh, plus T times negative 3, negative 3, negative 1. And so this would say X could equal. Uh, if we go with the three-fourths, that's um, five minus nine-fourths, zero minus nine-fourths, and uh, seven minus three-fourths. And that then is, uh, what is that, 20 minus nine is 11. Uh, fourths minus nine fourths and 28 minus three is 25 uh, fourths. So there is our answer for uh, t equals three. And then uh, three halves is, uh, oh, sorry, three fourths. Um, and then three halves is our other one. So uh, t equals three halves. And we get x is equal to our 5, 0, 7. And uh, 3 halves times negative 3 is 9 halves. So minus 9 halves, minus 9 halves, minus 3 halves. And so we get um, uh, 10 halves minus 9 halves. That's 1 half. Uh, minus 9 halves and 14 halves minus 3 halves is 11 halves. Oops. There we go. And so there are our two points. Um, and let's see, did we get the same thing? No. Okay, where's my negative issue? So, negative interesting okay so um i feel like uh they got the same t's but they they seem to have a plus three right there did i get the wrong uh, uh let's go back um i took b minus a, and that's negative 3, negative 3, negative 1. Huh. Okay. So, 
they have yeah their answers um, actually I, I believe their answers are wrong well I'm certainly glad we did this one um, because they have all positive numbers here so let's look at why I think their answers are wrong they have those as positive um, but remember uh, in particular this T here gives us a point in between a points A and B okay well so a point uh, in between A and B would need to have that middle component negative okay because that's negative that's zero so I'm pretty darn sure we've got this right right here uh, we get their same values of T and um, uh, but then they gave us positive numbers there I'm really sure that's incorrect okay so these should have been uh, negative in their example so again I'm glad uh, uh, we did that one all right so that's uh, 8.4.2